Two new Sims 4 kits just dropped today, Moonlight Chic, which is all creator sim items, and Little Campers, which is all build by stuff. As much as I agree with the opinion that kits are a bit of a cash grab, I still get excited for new content, so let's go take a look. We also got a couple of updates recently. We got the long-awaited pronouns update, which is so amazing, and we also got a new look for the goth family. I have to be honest, I kind of miss her old dress. I liked it more. So let's take a look at our new Moonlight Chic items. First up, we've got this blazer. It's quite nice. Comes in all these swatches. I'm glad that they've got some like muted and neutral swatches in there. We've got this top, which is like, it's like a fuzzy jumper. I kind of wish it wasn't such a harsh straight line on the neckline. Like that's really weird because the texture is so nice and soft and fuzzy. And then it's like really jarring to have this straight line here. Similar swatches to the blazer. Next up, we have this blouse. It's pretty cute. I like the cropped and it looks kind of sheer, which is nice. Similar swatches swatches and color palette. Yeah, I think it's meant to be sheer. Oh, the gradient is nice. This is my favorite top. When we saw the promo images, this was 100% the top that caught my eye. I think it's really cute. We have this little baby tee, which is also cute. I don't mind it. I sort of feel like the game needs more like t-shirts like this. Cute. I sort of wish that we had different patterns, but it's all right. We also have this blouse, which is a little bit more modest <laughs> than the other tops. Also very cute. I feel like these flowers, this flower motif, is very in. Oh, it's also got cute little polka dots on the gradient. That's really nice. Ooh, this is nice. I really like this jacket and this little crop top underneath. It's super modern. I really like it. And I really like the swatches and I really like that the buttons are like kind of tortoiseshell. Oh, this is cute. It's kind of like giving Chanel <laughs> with like the texture that like boucle texture and like these little, this little plaid. It, oh my God, this is really nice. Ooh, we have this very sparkly top. Again, cropped and with a little mock turtleneck, which is really nice. And last top is really cool too. It sort of gives me like PJ's like after spicy time putting on like, you know, your boyfriend's shirt or something. I really like it as well. That's really cute. All right, let's have a look at the trousers now. This is the first one. It's like a cargo pant. Oh my gosh, I actually feel like this top with these pants go really well. But yeah, they're kind of just like a baggy, loose fit cargo pant. Again, very trendy. It's nice. I don't mind it at all. Oh, we have another cargo pant. <laughs> Wait, this is really similar, isn't it? It's all right. Oh yeah. Okay. Camo, very trendy, very trendy. We got these shorts, which are, mm, they're pretty plain, but it's fine, I guess. We have this knee length Okay, this is giving like golf course, I think. And then we have the sparkly skirt that kind of goes with that sparkly top, I think. And we have yet another sort of loose cargo pant moment. Wait, is this really our third cargo pant? <laughs> They're more jeansy. They look like denim maybe. But you know what? I actually really like them. So the blazer kind of goes with the shorts. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. And with the tights underneath, that's actually really cool. This I'm maybe a little bit less of a fan of. Like I, I get it. Something about the length of these pants are kind of throwing me off. Ooh, with the skirt, that's really cute. Let's try the sparkly. Oh, they actually don't really match. Oh no. Oh, they don't match. You know what? It's still cute. I just feel like some of the pants aren't like snazzy enough. I think we did get some new accessories. I just popped a hair up. Ooh, that's nice actually. It's obviously clipping into the blazer. The blazer from the same pack, might I add? What about over the turtleneck? Hold on. If I put this little turtleneck on her, what? You can't put the necklace over the turtleneck? What? That is so annoying. You can't put a necklace on her if she's got this on? Oh, come on. That is bad. We also got some new earrings. They're just pearls. I'm sorry. I can't get over the necklace. 
Okay, it works on this top. I'm just sad that we can't place it over the turtleneck jumper. I feel like that would have looked really nice. And I think we got one dress. I really love the dress. Although I probably already have this dress downloaded like a CC version. It's pretty. It looks really silky. They did a good job on the texture. The colors are beautiful. I love this brown. And the back is very sexy. I love it. That's really nice. Okay, let's give Morty a little makeover. I love this on a masculine frame. I think this looks great. It's giving us a little bit of spice, finally, which I think The Sims 4 really needs. Look how good he looks. Oh, okay, Morty. We've got this jacket it's fine it's kind of just like don't we already have this jacket i mean it's essentially just a bomber jacket with some motor racing prints on it i don't know what is it supposed to be we've also got this jacket which i love i think this is so nice wow this is beautiful i really love this little denim jacket and it's got a little something something on the back as well oh we actually did get new shoes oh little sneakers they kind of look like Nike Dunks or Jordans or something. They're nice. Wow, I really like these sneakers. Let's try the pants on. Oh, that's really nice. Oh my god, I really like these pants. I like that it's cropped so you can see the shoes. We also have some denim shorts. I'll just take his socks off. I'm really a bit confused as to why we have these like knee length shorts. I don't think they look very trendy at all. Um, they look, you know, very early 2000s to me. Again, maybe I don't know fashion. We have first of three cargo pants. We got the shiny ones and we have this one with the stitching on it. We also got some new sunnies. Pretty standard stuff, but there it is. We didn't get any kids outfits, which I guess makes sense since this kid is all about like going out in the town and stuff. But fear not if you're a fan of kids content because we have an entire little campus kit to look at now. So I just destroyed the Goths backyard. You know, mostly kids stuff, like cute little backyard kind of things. I'm not gonna lie, first impressions, cute. You guys know, I sort of think there's a bit too much kids content in The Sims and I wanna bring back some of the, you know, more grown up stuff. But I have to say, this is pretty adorable. First Next up, we have this little fold up bed cot thing. It's really fun. It's really cute. We also have this little seat, which I enjoy. I really like the little blanket. Nice little detail. This little froggy chair is so so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the swatches. Okay, there's a little Nori chair. We have a little table and chair. They're separate, of course. This sort of like rough, distressed look. Yeah, that's not too bad. Next up, we have this little outdoor folding table. However, not a dining table. So I don't know. I guess you can, you can put stuff on the table. I think it's more like a side table thing. We got this little wagon thingy, which is also a shelf, I think. Yep, we can put our little s'mores guy on here. Is this a new gnome? What is this? Who are you? He's just a gnome. Hello. Now, don't be fooled. <laughs> this is actually a different item. This is the Needs Paint Game Table. This one over here was the Needs Paint Dining Table. They are different. It's sort of weird that they have like two identical items in this kit, but they like serve different purposes. I don't know. I find that really weird. This guy here is just like another one of those big plushies that your kids can talk to and hit and stuff. This little fire pit is actually super cute. My only thing is I sort of wish there was a swatch without the little cutouts so it could be a little bit more versatile. This is a little activity table. When I first saw this I was really excited. I thought the kids would be able to like have a little race or something but no. <laughs> it's just an activity table. We've got a little pop-up book here, a floor cushion. I believe the kids can sit on that. This is just a little lamp in the shape of a rocket ship I think. We got a little kitty radio which is cute and this is it's it's s'mores. We've got a new toy here, pretty standard stuff. This lamp, which is actually cute. It's got like little fairy lights in a jar kind of vibe. And the most exciting thing for me are new fairy lights. I like that these are just standalone. So they don't have a little pole or anything. Over here, this is pretty neat. So we already have a bunch of dollhouses in this game, but I really like this one because it doesn't look like a dollhouse. I like that it's sort of, you know, DIY 
DIY vibes and stuff. Yeah, I think this is really cute. This is super interesting. We've got our little backyard projector. Again, I love the DIY vibes, the little string lights at the golf clubs and whatnot. And it looks like a bunch of board games down here, which is really fun. I really hope a CC creator can separate these one day. <laughs> But yeah, it's just really cute. Oh, the little rainbow fairy lights are really fun. That's nice. Here we've got a little picnic blanket or rug. I feel like this could look pretty good as a rug indoors as well. Like these gradient swatches are actually kind of nice. And I feel like they could suit a lot of um, styles actually. I have to admit this swing set is very good. It's very like there's design in this, you know, which I really appreciate. Wow, the swatches are actually really nice. And there's some ones without the little rugs underneath, which I also really appreciate. But yeah, I really like this actually. Actually, I'm surprised. I am surprised. And lastly, we have this little blanket fort. I was kind of hoping that building a blanket fort would become like a new kids activity, but I don't think we actually ever get to see them build this. It is really adorable though. The little fox and the little raccoon at the top. I mean, look how sweet that is. I have to say like the textures are pretty good. Oh, hold on. Hold on a damn second. What is that? These shadow lines are so bad. Oh my gosh, they're, no. I take it back. This is not good quality. This is really disappointing to see. Just because I've seen, you know, CC creators execute items like this so much better. I really feel like this could be an easy fix and it needs to be fixed because I think this quality level is not really acceptable for the price point. So the projector pretty much works like a TV. Yeah, it pretty much just works like a TV. There's Cassie having a go on the swings. Hey, the swing animation on the ropes is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that's okay. The dollhouse just works like a regular old dollhouse. The blanket fort is, it's literally just a sculpture. It's not, you can't even, you can't interact with the blanket fort at all. That's so sad. <laughs> How do you make s'mores? Can you, can you make s'mores? I don't know. I, maybe I haven't worked it out. Doesn't seem like we got any new gameplay. So that's everything we got in the two new kits that just came out. What do you guys think? Are you impressed? Are you unimpressed? I was impressed, but now I'm unimpressed. It was a bit of a roller coaster. But I want to know what you guys think. Place your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!